What is happening, everybody? This is Pete Talks Movies, and we are talking about the ending of Jigsaw, the new Jigsaw film that is out starring Tobin Bell. Uh, first off, first and foremost, I want to apologize about two things before we go any further. The lighting in this room sucks. This is my new apartment, and uh, unfortunately, I have not gotten all my, my lighting gear over, so that's why my face is so dark, even though I'm sure people didn't really want to see it in the first place. So, second thing, I, I know I put spoilers in the title. I absolutely deserve a dislike, which is probably why I have so many dislikes on this video, but if I didn't put that, then you guys probably wouldn't be looking for these specific things to be explained. So with that being said, I am sorry about that, but if you enjoy what I have to say, please rate the video accordingly, and of course, leave, you know, subscribe to the channel if you can. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to put out there, uh, I did enjoy the movie. It was a little short. I think it ran around like an hour and 25 minutes, something there other. Uh, it was very quick. Um, very typical Jigsaw stuff or Saw series, you know, devices of killing people. It, you know, it's always interesting. It's always like every, they don't disappoint, but you know, the typical out of control stuff. But anyway, uh, there are a few questions that people uh, would like to have answered, which is, is Jigsaw alive? Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, he really, as far as we know, Jigsaw did die of cancer, you know, and then they took apart his brain and everything, you know, uh, years and years ago. Um, but this film is kind of like a prequel within the present. A little strange, but very cool concept. Uh, they basically explain how, um, you know, how Jigsaw ended up actually having, hel uh, having help building his devices. We find out who that is and who actually carried on his legacy. Because, uh, if a lot of people don't know this, but the Jigsaw new movie original name was Jigsaw Legacy. And now I understand why it's called Jigsaw Legacy. Because there was someone that he trained to carry on his legacy after he died. Uh, a lot of people thought that was Amanda, you know, a, f a bunch of movies back. But we found out that she died as well. So, with that being said, um, we end up finding out uh, that really... It was a possibility that he could have been saved um, from the hospital, you know, uh, when it came to his cancer. This dummy, Logan, ended up, uh, as the lab tech or whatever, was the one who mixed up the x-rays with him and some guy named Alex Rubenstein, I think, uh, was the name. And it turned out that they, um, since they got switched, they didn't realize that John Kramer had cancer the brain cancer as soon as he did so he could have actually had treatment and this guy logan this is the big spoiler if you don't want to hear it if you don't want to hear it this is the big spoiler here we find out that this guy logan was actually the guy who carried on jigsaw's legacy over the years jigsaw um there, there was a scene where, you know, there's a lot... It's almost like a Quentin Tarantino movie because it constantly keeps changing time periods and stuff. Uh, I notice I'm going like this a lot. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, you know, th there's the typical scene where there's like the five people. The one you probably saw in the commercial with the buckets on their head. But the guy all the way to the right, he has a bucket on his head. And he's the one who is actually Logan, but when everyone is getting pulled with the chains into the saws that are spinning around, now this is in the past, mind you, like 10 years ago, according to the story, um, uh, what's his name? Logan uh, is unconscious during all of this, and he's the one who ends up uh, getting saved at the end uh, by Jigsaw. He feels that it was an unfair advantage to him because he was passed out the whole time and I guess he deserved a second chance even though he was the one who basically allowed, you know, John Kramer to die, you know, but it was a mistake. It was a careless mistake. So Jigsaw spared him and turned him into his assistant and I guess the agreement was after I die, since you're the one technically almost responsible for my death, you're going to carry on my legacy and continue. So, that was it. Uh, and John Kramer always said that he speaks for the dead. But anyway, uh, at the end, it comes down to Detective Halloran, or whatever the hell his name is, and you have um, 
Logan, who everyone doesn't realize is actually the one that is the current Jigsaw, um, they end up finding out that um, this detective was the one that saved murderers and rapists and stuff instead of putting them away. And one of the guys that he saved ended up killing Logan's wife. So, you know, this was... Uh, this was Logan's way of getting back at him and he ends up like, you know, setting him up in this like harness with all of these laser cutters and it ends up cutting his whole head into slices. It's freaking disgusting. But uh, it was cool. Like it was cool how they did it. Um, but the best way I can explain it is there is a part where they go to uncover John Kramer's grave and instead they find this guy, Edgar who was actually murdered by Logan, but was framed as Detective Halloran uh, in John Kramer's grave. So we are led to believe in the ending here that, okay, the detective dies, all right, he got, you know, he got what was coming to him. And now we find out that Logan is the current Jigsaw, but where was John Kramer's body? You know what I mean? Because they tried to you know, because everyone saw that these 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 um, murders were just like Jigsaw, but they it was unexplained because Jigsaw was dead. So, basically, the best way I could put it to you is I think there's going to be one more movie or something to find out what what actually happened to John Kramer. I think this is a possibility, um, but then again, it might not be at all. You know, we'll only have to find out. But um, that's just basically how it ended. You know, it was uh, definitely worth checking out, you know. So what did you guys think of the film? Uh, if you enjoyed the Jigsaw movie, uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. And uh, today's secret comment code, if you made it to the end of this video, which you did. So congratulations, because I think I did an okay job explaining the ending. Uh, just comment Kramer Lives or John Lives, something like that. But anyways, guys, um, this is Pete Talks Movies. I appreciate you joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, that's all for now. All right. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And uh, sorry about the, uh, the spoiler title. You know, it's YouTube, man. Clickbait. What can I say? Just trying to, just trying to get, the, uh, get it out there. All right. I'm out of here. Have a good night. Subscribe. Peace.